Greetings, students. My name is Patrick Keo. I go by Mr. K, and I am your Fayetteville Community College Computer Art Online Instructor. What I'd like to do is give you a, a thorough orientation to how this course works. Um, it's not a difficult course, but it's very important that you follow my guidelines and my parameters for the course uh, throughout the semester so you can succeed and climb the learning curve for all aspects of computer art and uh, the software that you'll be using. So what I'll be doing is um, sharing my screen with you and taking you to the course and taking you step by step through how it works. Essentially we're going to climb the learning curve technically and conceptually for computer art and how to execute a variety of different uh, assignments that relate to mastering uh, Photoshop uh, and or GIMP uh, photo uh, image manipulation program or art image ma manipulation program uh, to successfully um, complete uh, each assignment that builds on the last assignment. So with that said, I'm going to uh, take us over to the class and take you through the course. Okay, you should be able to see the actual course blackboard at this point. In fact, you're looking at it as well in the course. So let's just go through um, the various uh, tabs on the left of the course. So you're looking at uh, every um, few days I post a new announcement and the announcement is the first thing you see uh, when you enter the class. And this is my first welcome announcement to you going over some key points on how to succeed in the class. Uh, talking about uh, how to attach an image, uh, the types of things we're going to be uh, covering in the class. So please read my announcements. Every time I make a new announcement, I send it out as an email as well to remind you that I posted a new announcement. Uh, so please also check your Fayetteville Community College email. I do not uh, respond back to personal emails. You have to use your FTCC email for this class. All right. Uh, so uh, let's look on the left. We have the announcements, which you'll be getting. Uh, the announcement, I'm basically reminding you of different things we're going to be working on, giving you some additional resources, possibly some video tutorials, pointing you in the right direction to help you successfully navigate the course and the assignment. Uh, this tab about Mr. K, uh, that is some background information about me. I'm a retired uh, community college instructor. I've been teaching photography, art, art history, uh, graphic design for over 30 years. And I've been teaching in the online environment for over 15 years. So you can read up about me here. Uh, course information is very important because that's where you will find your syllabus, the computer art course outline, my grading policy, which I want you to read as well, because um, uh, I want to stress that this is a project-oriented class. You will be graded on your projects, on the effort you put into those projects and you will be doing what we call works in progress, uh, letting the pro project, the assignment evolve with my feedback and your fellow classmates' feedback. And then once we get the, the, the assignment uh, finished and uh, we're happy with it, then we're going to send it to the uh, assignment manager for final uh, grading. So you're going to be graded on class participation and you're going to be graded on 
your final image as well. So please read the syllabus, read the outline. Let's take a look at the outline. Okay. Um, you do need to have some computer literacy skills in this class. If you have no computer literacy skills, you are going to struggle a great deal with this class. So uh, that is a, uh, a bottom line uh, requirement. All right. So we're going to start off with um, uh, some uh, digital imaging basics, theory, uh, and, and, and a quiz as well. So we can go, you can go through that, and that's really part of the first assignment. And I have lots of videos for you uh, to help you successfully accomplish the goals and the objectives of every assignment. Okay? So um, I would say the most important tab is the Assignments Module tab because this is where you find out exactly exactly what you have to do at the very top I talk about what you need to do as far as uh, the discussion board we're gonna call that the art gallery and that is where you will be posting your digital art projects as they evolve we're gonna call those works in progress and that is your attendance for the class in fact the first attendance to give you uh, attendance verification will be your first post to the first art gallery slash discussion board where you have to post an introduction and search the web and look for a very unique and interesting computer art image to share. So please do that uh, as soon as possible because I can't count you in the class until you post to that first discussion board. That is key. So uh, you get about 10 days per assignment to work through the, uh, the assignment and uh, you'll be posting a minimum of three versions of your assignment uh, each module. And once I give you feedback and you get feedback from your fellow students and you're happy with it and everybody's uh, pleased with it that you accomplish the goals and objectives then you will send it to what we call the assignment manager for final grading so each assignment gets two grades a, a class participation grade for works in progress and the final grade for the assignment sent to the assignment manager okay so let's um, work through the folders each folder has the date dates that you are to work on the assignment so assignment one is nothing more than practice familiarization experimentation getting a feel for the software um, I'm going to be giving lots of tutorials for Photoshop CS3 and above so that's really the ideal software to have in the class Photoshop CS3 or above in fact many of the uh, uh, tutorials will be CS6. If you can't get access to Photoshop, uh, although I'm told that there is a uh, lab on campus at the virtual campus, that is there's a Mac lab that you have access to Photoshop. So if you can't, I suggest downloading GIMP and I give you the information about doing that on the uh, on the uh, blackboard. So you have a whole week to experiment, more than a week to experiment, to practice, and then to post some experimental practice playful images uh, to the first discussion board slash art gallery. You will notice that every assignment will have a corresponding art gallery. So let's look. Experimental imaging assignment. We click here. And the first week, you have to take a quiz on the uh, digital terms. I have a tutorial for you to help you uh, do well on that quiz, to give you all the information you need to successfully finish that quiz. And then I have some videos for you to watch. And all I want you to do is the first assignment uh, is essentially not really graded, but you're going to get 10 points and you're going to get your 
uh, attendance verification. So you can use any picture uh, on your uh, on your uh, computer or download a picture, and uh, also post an introduction about uh, about yourself and your background with art, photography, and software. All right, so you can read that fully, and as I said, lots of tutorials uh, for you to look at, and then you'll click on to the practice assignment art gallery, and you will, I've got some introduction examples for you, uh, examples of students' previous work, and then you will click create thread, and you will upload you will upload your picture with your introduction into the text editor. Uh, you can put your name here, uh, practice image number one, or your search image there that you search the web. And then you'll use, uh, and I've got a tutorial on this, but you will use this image, insert image tool uh, to uh, upload your picture. So class participation is very important. Being actively engaged uh, in the class is very, very important. Uh, so let's just kind of go down the list here. Experimental image assignment, 18th to the 24th. The next assignment, and keep, keep in mind, the way I've um, developed the class is each assignment builds on the previous assignment. So you're basically climbing the learning curve incrementally. Each assignment gets a little bit more difficult. So you're going to be adding color to a black and white slash grayscale image and you'll be using the paint bucket tool, the uh, the select and uh, uh, you'll be filling areas with color opacity, uh, learning about opacity, the paintbrush, the drawing tools, uh, and I give you lots of examples, lots of examples, so and tutorials. So when we click on assignment two, this is when we begin to upload your pictures directly into the assignment manager as well. So I give you the parameters. Um, I want you working on 300 DPI files, but then converting them to 72 DPI for uploading to the discussion board and to the assignment manager. Uh, we're talking about images that are approximately 1,000 pixels horizontal or vertical depending upon the orientation of the image. So we have three tutorials here. Three tutorials on how to do this and I want you to find an image online or scan an old photo that is either black and white or that you will change into black and white and colorize totally and selectively using the same tools as listed above. These two images must be posted to the assignment manager by the due date and also posted to the works in progress art gallery. Now, another point I'd like to make is after the second assignment where you're basically just getting your feet wet, uh, I want you using your own pictures. I want you shooting or your own drawings, your own paintings, your own photographs. I really I want you to use your own work. Uh, these first two assignments, um, basically you're just getting your feet wet. But after that, I want you using your own pictures because they're going to mean a lot more to you if you use your own images. Okay. Uh, Digital composite. This is where you'll be taking three to four, three pictures, three drawings, and creating a composite, a seamless composite. You click on this folder, you find out more about the assignment, and you have a link to upload the assignment. So let's click on that. And here, if you click right here, that's where you will scroll down and submit your final composite. I give you the parameters here, 72 DPI, approximately 1,000 pixels. Uh, first you post your composite work in progress, at least three, and then you give feedback to other students. The more feedback you give on the art gallery, the more engaged you are in the art gallery, the higher your class participation grade will be for that module. Then I give you three tutorials. 
and the tools that you'll be using and some links and examples from previous students work here is fireworks uh, a bridge dolphins jumping in the water all a composite little pixies and fairies in the in the uh, surreal landscape I really like this one uh, this guy fishing uh, in a martini glass with the goldfish uh, so you get the idea I give you lots of examples to give you a sense of what I'm looking for these are all examples from previous students so hopefully you're getting the idea uh, you're going to be working with filters and curves adding text to images or drawings or artwork and here is this number six is really fun where you will not be using any uh, reference images you'll be creating images strictly with the tools in Photoshop or GIMP abstract images and representational pictures using just the drawing painting tools in your image manipulation software you'll be doing digital collages I love the art history concept where you'll take a art history image and this is really a lot of fun uh, I give you lots of tutorials a lot of tutorials on this uh, you can see one two uh, pop art cubist impressionistic surreal and lots of examples of um, using artwork uh, famous art uh, and paintings uh, as a point of reference as a point of departure for creating your own uh, art history forgery interesting uh, play on the birth of Venus here and I also post a lot more examples on the art gallery as well and then you would click here scroll down browse Mr. K here just type in something like Mr. K here's my final art for forgery art history project browse upload and submit okay that's how it all works so hopefully you're getting the idea of um, how the course works each assignment has a corresponding art gallery for your works in progress experimental image adding color digital composite creative use of filters adding text scratch made images abstract and representational digital collages or landscapes art history concept the digital self-portrait that's always fun you'll enjoy doing that and again I want you using your own pictures I'm going to be flexible on the first two assignments um, but after that I want you using your own imagery your own imagery oh you'll be doing scanograms where you use a scanner and scan objects and to create a unique interesting work of art you'll be doing what we call mirror image learning how to mirror images uh, like these billiard balls and here the mirror and it can be very abstract it can be very uh, painterly so to speak you'll be repairing an old photograph taking a very old torn up messed up ripped folded photograph and repairing that and then the final assignment which is your final exam is to blow me away is to take everything you learned and make a very unique computer art that is literally uh, represents your personal vision uh, as an image maker and here's some other examples it could be a composite and then you would submit it here so that is how the class works um, 
as far as the assignments and again the art gallery so we'll just quickly run over to the art gallery again this is your practice assignment and then we go to week two where we uh, colorize uh, a grayscale image project three is digital composites project four is filters and curves project five is adding text project six, six is abstract and representational so every assignment has a corresponding art gallery slash discussion board and as I said the more active and engaged you are in the discussion board in the art gallery the higher your grade will be uh, in the class in the class participation on the left I have uh, tutorials for uh, Photoshop take you to many many different tutorials for Photoshop if you're not using Photoshop I have uh, GIMP tutorials which is an open source image manipulation program that you can download if you can't get access or you can't afford the Photoshop I really want you using Photoshop but uh, that is an alternative I have imaging tips and theory here some lectures more videos on Photoshop and GIMP if you're a Mac user I have some basic introduction to the Mac how to put copyright protection and metadata into your images uh, workflow very important workflow having a good workflow with digital technology digital imagery uh, so there's a, there is a PowerPoint here on digital theory uh, and some little handouts on doing different projects. Lots of resources. Then I have um, web resources, links to Photoshop alternative software. Here's your download for your GIMP software. Photoshop, more Photoshop tutorials, Adobe tutorials, GIMP tutorials, digital art photography where you can go and look uh, for unique imagery the web museum for your art for forgery project and lots of good resources Photoshop tutorials and examples from other classes alright so uh, essentially uh, that's the class um, let me go back to the announcement and I'm gonna go and jump back over to Okay, so I will be checking in uh, regularly, daily, to see what you posted as far as your works in progress and giving you um, some feedback. And again, I'm not trying to tell you exactly how to do an image, but I'm going to try to give you some, some tips on possibly making your, uh, your, your composite more seamless or your colorization have better opacity uh, so the color is not laying on top but embedded into melded into the image and I'm wanting you to also give feedback to your fellow students as well and help them out in a tactful uh, respectful way it's all about that respect and being tactful uh, on the art gallery so I'm looking forward to being your instructor I'm looking forward to this journey through computer art from uh, taking you up uh, the learning curve and feel free to contact me uh, via email uh, I will be doing some live uh, tutorials here at the beginning uh, to help those students that don't have any background in this out if you it's not, it's only optional to show up uh, I can't make it mandatory but I will record them so um, good luck in the class as I said, email me if you have any uh, questions. I want you to succeed in this class. And also, please get your introductions posted as soon as possible because that is how I validate your initial attendance into the class. So uh, search the web. I want you to find a very unique, interesting computer art image to share that you found interesting and unique and dynamic uh, and creative and uh, you're going to post that uh, with your introduction and then you're going to do your experimental practice pictures so uh, let's get started and uh, again uh, good luck to everybody in the class